They entomb their victims. They've got web-building superpowers that would make Spider-Man green with envy. They hang the remains of their prey out to dry on their webs like trophies. Golden Orb Weaver Spiders. This is a killing field, glistening in the morning light. These webs are made by golden orb weavers, which belong to the oldest living family of spiders on our planet. They've been around for nearly 165 million years. Their webs are death traps, massive in size, they're designed to deceive unwitting prey, and they're engineered with a precision and skill that even scientists can't replicate. Five times stronger than steel and more elastic than nylon, the golden orb weaver spider's silk is both waterproof and pliable. It's also used to entomb victims, to store away for eating later. Spider silk is created in the female's abdomen. The silky solution, which is pure protein made of amino acids, is pushed along ducts into the spigots of the spider's spinnerets. Each spigot has valves that can wind the silk into the desired thickness, length, and even intensity of golden color. The female spends much of her day on web housekeeping. After all, it's her home and her victim entrapping snare. The web is both a lure and a warning signal. The zigzag patterns in the center ward off birds that would otherwise ruin it. But the rest of the web, well, that's to secure dinner. The web strategy pays off almost every single time. Orb weavers have super sensitive hairs on their body that can detect the slightest vibration anywhere on their webs. Any insect that flies into the web is doomed. The sticky thread imprisons them, and this kind of incarceration always comes with a death sentence. The spider's venom glands deliver the fatal blow through hypodermic needle-like fangs. It's neurotoxic, and it works quickly. A struggling victim can easily damage the web, and these arachnid ladies ain't got no time for that. Spiders can't digest solids, so they have to liquefy their prey first using digestive enzymes, which are brought up from the pit of their stomachs. And when she's done eating, she'll hang the lifeless corpses out to dry, further deterring birds from flying into her web. Golden orb weaver females are the webmasters. The small spiders around the edge of the web are the males. They'll hang around there, scavenging off the female's leftovers. But mostly, they'll try to mate with her without getting eaten. Mating is treacherous for male orb spiders. They have to do the deed while she's distracted, like when she's already eating something else. One wrong step, and they're dead. After mating, the females will lay eggs in a sack, tending to them and protecting them, until hundreds, sometimes thousands of them, hatch at the same time, ready to go out into the world and create killing fields and death traps of their own. Next time on Micro Freaks, military strategy and chemical warfare by some of the world's smallest creatures.